Good morning, friends. Welcome to Wake Up in the Word. Hey, thanks for joining me today. We're in Matthew chapter number 15. Grab a good cup of coffee and join me there. And uh, we'll do a quick devotional. We're in our last day at the Celebrators Conference in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, with uh, over 6,000 other mostly senior adults just having a great time in the Lord. Thank you, Phil Waldrop and Phil Waldrop Ministries for doing this. It's been a tremendous inspirational time. I'll talk about that a little more later. But today we're in Matthew chapter 15 in verse 32. This is an account found both in Matthew 15 and Mark 8. And it's about Jesus and feeding a large crowd again. No, it's not a repeat of Jesus feeding the 5,000. This is a separate event. Let's read about it. It says, Jesus called his disciples and said, I have compassion on the crowd because they've already stayed with me three days and have nothing to eat. I don't want to send them away hungry. Otherwise, they might collapse on the way. Well, the disciples said to him, where could we get enough bread in this desolate place to feed such a crowd? But now you know at this point in the back of their minds, they've got to be remembering what Jesus did with the 5,000 men, women, and children in addition to the 5,000 men. Uh, and they've got to be thinking of that, but they don't want to assume that Jesus is just going to do all of that again. But Jesus asks them in verse 34, well, how many loaves do you have? Seven, they said, and a few small fish. Matthew mentions the fish Mark mentions the seven loaves, but doesn't mention the fish. So they were they were obviously there, but uh, Mark's just kind of going over this in a quicker synopsis. So in verse 35, it says, After commanding the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. Now notice the little difference here in the way it describes the distribution. Jesus does the blessing, gives it to the disciples, and then the disciples begin to distribute, and it says, then they all ate and were satisfied. So the work of the disciples in this feeding of the 4,000 is quite interesting. It seems like it was their hands putting uh, the loaves and the fish to work that were used extensively by Jesus to make this miracle happen. I think that's important to recognize that as we as followers of Jesus try to minister even in times of need right now, it's our hands, our feet, our work that does the work of Jesus. Well, it says that they all, again, eight were satisfied and they collected the leftover pieces, seven large baskets full. And now there were about 4,000 men who had eaten besides women and children. And after dismissing the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. So here we have Jesus once again uh, committing to perform a miracle. But in this case, it's very obvious that he wants to use his followers, his disciples, to carry out his will. And I think that's the main lesson we get from this particular devotional today, I think Jesus still wants to make use of his followers. He's not going to just do everything for us. He wants us to be participating in his work. Well, how are you and I doing that today, my friend? Well, we're going to continue to make ourselves available in the kingdom, and that's about all you can do. Be careful that you don't burn yourself out in these days. That's easy to do, but yet commit yourself to be used by Jesus as long as you can. Now, one of the great examples of that seemed to be coming this week from two great saints in their 80s. And I'm talking about Bill Gaither, all of 88 years old, and Dr. David Jeremiah in his 80s, who's uh, been able to teach two sessions, but he has done that from a seated position, uh, has had to read most of his transcripts, still tremendous man of God, able to teach, uh, even though he's been going through some difficult health problems for over a year now, 
And, you know, just to see them giving their all at a time when some folks would just hang it up and say, it's time for me to rest. Y'all take this and run with it. I'm done. But yet, no, these great saints of God are still giving, even in their 80s. I think for the rest of us who now look at look at look around and say, you know, I thought I was old, but really I'm a youngster compared to some of these folks. Isn't it time for us to recognize that Jesus wants to use his followers in so many different ways? Well, how does he want to use you this morning? Hope you'll be paying attention and listening. Well, God bless you. You have a great day in the Lord, and we'll see you tomorrow again when we wake up in his word.